Well, now we move to Afghanistan, where people are desperately trying to get out as the Taliban regains control over the country. This is video of people clinging to moving planes, but unfortunately it was too late. Allies and critics are demanding to know how the Biden administration underestimated what would happen when he pulled U.S. troops out of the country. The White House admitting today the Afghan government's fall happened faster than it expected, as the country's president has also fled the country now. We plan for every contingency, but I always promise the American people that I will be straight with you. The truth is, this did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. So what's happened? Afghanistan political leaders gave up and fled the country. The Afghan military collapsed, sometime without trying to fight. If anything, the developments of the past week reinforced that ending U.S. military involvement in Afghanistan now was the right decision. American troops cannot and should not be fighting in a war and dying in a war that Afghan forces are not willing to fight for themselves. The president ordered thousands of American troops back into Afghanistan, but only to secure the airport and facilitate evacuations there. The Taliban, which was behind the terrorist attacks on the U.S. on 9-11, will once again run the country as we mark 20 years since the attack on our nation.